welcome to my channel to Pages to Turn. Today I will be reviewing Tarnished by Kate Jarvik Birch. And this is the second book and I guess you'd call it the Perfected series. I don't know what else I'd call it. And here's the first book. I just did the review on this one, so here's them both together. Now first let's talk about cover art. Now again, these are library books. There's going to be a little glare on this one. The last one is a paperback, so thank heavens no glare. So I'll hold this close to the camera so you can see it before we talk about it. So I really liked this cover art after reading the first book. Here you have a red dress with looks like wings coming out of it, which is very fitting because in the first book, Ella is basically trapped. She's a pet. In the second book, she is free. She's learning how to spread her wings, so to speak. I know it sounds really cheesy, but that's the image I'm getting from the cover art. She's learning how to spread her wings and she's really you know, learning more about the world and herself away from this image that she's had to portray and was trained to portray her entire life. Now like the second book, this has gorgeous shelf appeal. You have this part and then you have the cover and the spine right there. So you could have both of these on a shelf like this. They'd look very nice. However, would I buy them? No, I would not buy these. It just, again, like the first book, the second book let me down so big. This book got way better reviews on Goodreads than the first one Perfected did, but Tarnish just wasn't good for me. I did not like it. I mean, there was Insta Love in here too. Well, she's already in love with him, so I guess you could call it Insta Love. But she just obsesses over Pin the entire novel in the most annoying way I've ever seen in a book. I mean, that's all she can think about. Her life's in danger. Oh, I love Pin. You know, I can't know what I'm doing. Oh, I love Pin. If Pin were here, everything would be just fine. I did not like that at all. I liked in this book how we get to learn more about the new pet facilities and where Ella came from and how the whole pet thing works. I really liked that so we got more background. However, just Ella's character ruins it. I can't do it. I mean, I think if I were, I'm going to do it actually, not if I were ever to. I'm going to be doing a five characters I want to drown video at some point in time and I think Ella is going to be on that list. I mean, I just can't handle her. She's so annoying. I mean, the only reason I read these books is because I really want to know what happens. I want to know the story. And I really could have done without Ella's character. She needs more backbone, more substance to her for, really, for me to really enjoy her. I almost gave this book a 4 because, again, it was better than the last book. It wasn't too terrible, so I could have let it go with a 4. However, on page 62, I have found the worst typo I've ever seen in a book in my life. So this typo is basically where not even do we have like a spelling that's wrong, no, entire character name is put in the wrong spot. And it's something that should have easily come up in reviewing of this before it went to publication. And so I gave that book, this book a 3.5 because of that. It is marginally better than the first one. But I just feel like that typo should have been caught because I had to read the scene like six times before I realized this was even a typo. And I will link my Goodreads review to this video so you can see. I actually write the typo out and I don't mention why it's a typo because that would be a spoiler. However, I do write it so you can catch it when you're reading this book. Now, I don't know if they've done any other editions of this novel and corrected that typo. But it is there, and I was so annoyed by it because I've never seen that one ba that bad before in my life. Now there is going to be a third book definitely to this series. It left it way open-ended, and I kind of thought it was cool the cliffhanger of sorts. It's not really a cliffhanger, but you're given some cool information. And I'm excited to see that in the third book. There are things I'm excited to see, however, I just did not like Ella's character development in this novel. It went by too rapidly. I mean, one minute she's terrified of something, and literally within half a page she does it, and then doesn't even mention, oh, I'm so glad I did that thing. No, she just does it like she was never scared of it before. Which is kind of an admirable trait, but in a novel you want that character development. Her kind of things kind of clicking in her head, like, okay, this is okay. 
I'm okay in the world, but no, we don't get that with this novel. Now, um, I know I bash on Ella a lot, and that's kind of unfair, but there is another character in this novel that I think absolutely saved me from hating it. I can't mention her name, because that will spoil some things. But I'm excited for you to see that as you read this novel. And so would I recommend these novels to people? I would, because it is a very interesting concept. I mean, it's something we haven't really seen in the book world before. Um, just be prepared that these books are very middle grade. I mean, I could have finished both of these in one day very easily, maybe just in a couple hours. I finished this one in an hour and a half. I mean, come on. I read books fast, but this was really seriously a middle grade. And this one, it took a bit longer because the writing was just a bit smaller, but very much middle grade um, writing novels with some definitely young adult topics. So don't give this to like you know, a small child because there are some things in here that are kind of young adult things. Also with these novels, just be prepared to have to do a lot of going back to the first book as well to understand some topics. So I definitely recommend reading these back to back. Good for book binging if you don't have a lot of time but want to read a series quick. These are the books for you. Now I definitely recommend these and my next review will be a Rick Riordan book and currently as you can see up here the lighting is really bad and there's a terrible glare but it's I am reading The Crown by Kira Cass, the last book. Now just can we talk about first impressions here? I mean this thing is tiny. I thought this was going to be bigger. So I'll probably fly through this book and I'll probably have that review up soon. So have a great day and happy reading!